All right, so I wanted to talk about what do I do whenever I come across something that I can't do in raid? What happens when you come across a, a part in raid where you're just completely stonewalled and, and you just can't, you can't do it? Because I've had some people come to me and say, look, I can't do this part of the game, Brito. Like, I'm a newer player, I'm a, like, I'm at only at level 46, and I can't do something like Hydra. For an example which is completely understandable by the way because hydra isn't exactly easy you will lock hydra at what level 45 i think it is or sooner than that 42 something like that you unlock it early on the same thing with doom tower doom tower is something that you unlock quite early but at this point in the game you're not going to have a roster and you're not going to have the gear to be able to tackle this content quite yet so the short answer is, I just don't do it. I don't bother with it. Not yet, at least, because there's just no point. So that's probably what I would tell you guys, too. Like, don't beat yourself up over not being able to do something quite yet, because it's just designed this specific way so that you feel the need to spend in raid. And, you know, if you want to spend, go ahead. More power to you. Honestly, if you spend early on, you'll probably save yourself a lot of headache and save yourself a lot of time but you can totally get by with doing things free to play but to i guess echo the point i don't do it i just don't bother with it quite yet for an example like clan boss hard i'm not even bothering with hard yet because i'm just not there yet and i'm not going to have the the gear or the stats or the champions to be able to do it and even if i do have the champions they're not fully ascended and i'm not going to have masters for them hydra all I do is just throw in whomever I have, which is not a lot. You know what I mean? Like, so I'll take whoever I have as the aura lead and I'll just throw in a bunch of other champions. And this is it. This is what I do for, for Hydra. I don't expect to do anything seriously. I don't expect to do tons of damage. I don't even expect to get the top chest quite yet. I'm just not going to be there. So I don't kill myself over it, I don't stress over it, it's just not going to happen quite yet. And that's the best answer I can give you to revisit all of these things, the harder content, revisit it later. Because you're just not going to be in a place where you can do it, and you're only going to feel badly, and you're only going to feel like you need to spend. Because Polarium is really good at creating a problem so they can sell you the solution. 57k damage dealt, and that, that's it. That's all you're going <laughs> to, that's, that's all I do. This is something else that I've I've been asked before, like how do I approach Doom Tower as a newer player? You don't. You do what you can on normal, and that's it. Once you get to a spot where you can't progress any further, let it go. Because Doom Tower is not going anywhere. The clan bosses aren't going anywhere. Hydra's not going anywhere. If you're going to be a long time player, you'll eventually get to the point where you can do these things. These challenges will be a thing of the past. I remember even on my main account, Endgame now, but like I used to struggle. And I used to beat myself up over hard, like, oh, I can't beat the Griffin. It's going to be the same thing for Iron Twins, for doing the Sand Devil, as well as Phantom Shogun, even the upper stages of Dragon. Like, I'm not doing 13 yet, I just can't do it yet. Build yourself up, build your roster, do your clan boss, collect your shards, do events where you can get free things. Get back to it whenever you can get back to it. And that's another way that you can avoid burnout. Remember, Raid Shadow Legends is not a sprint. This isn't a game that's going to hand you everything. They're going to give you problems so you can buy solutions. It's a marathon, not a sprint. So calm down and start slowly. And if you're wondering what can you do in the meantime while you're waiting for new champions, while you're waiting to access the upper echelons of raid, one thing you can do is work on your gear. And I show you guys my gearing process right here. 